Well, it seems like it's been rainy all summer long, so why not more of the same as the football season arrives? Augusta Prep had their opener washed out, but the Aiken Jamboree still going strong tonight. A scrimmage featuring seven teams from Aiken County plus Williston Alco. And in four quarters of action, Williston Alco beat Ridge Spring Veneta 7-6. Silver Bluff rolled over Wigner Sally 27-2. North Augusta shuts out Aiken High 21-0. And in the final frame, South Aiken scores a touchdown in the final seconds to beat Midland Valley 7-0. Our 30-minute Football Friday Night Season Preview Special starts now. Football Friday Night is powered by McDonald's. I'm loving it. Jostens, your graduation headquarters for over 115 years. Georgia Bank and Trust, doing the right thing. Augusta Technical College, education that works. Bojangles, it's bow time. Aiken Regional Medical Centers, real, personal, healthcare and WJBF News Channel 6. Now, the leader in local high school football coverage, WJBF. EF Sports brings you Football Friday Night. Hello and welcome to our special, special season preview edition of Football Friday Night. Tom Wiley and myself back for what will surely be another exciting year of high school football action here in the CSRA. That's right, man. Last year we had a number of state championships, a state runner-up in the McCormick, and a number of other deep teams uh, making some deep playoff runs. We're hoping for more in 2013. Yeah, and over the next half hour, we'll get you set for the season, meeting new coaches in new places, introducing you to a very special team making a big jump this year, and previewing a big season of live football game broadcasts with Game Night Live. Yeah, but first, let's check back in on some of the action from tonight. A number of scrimmages going on around the area. A couple of them got rained out, but we still had one down in Burke County matching a pair of playoff teams from last year. Head on down to Burke County. The Bears scrimmaging against Laney tonight. You know what? We do not have that video for you at the moment, but we can tell you that Burke County uh, did win. They did keep score against Laney. They won 33 oh, there you go, Tom. to 26. Hey, there it is. Burke County Bears scrimmaging against Laney. We'll get to that final score in a bit. Burke lost only two games last year. Their opener to Thompson in their final game. That came in the 4A state quarterfinals against Cartersville in the 2011 3A state champs feature. One of the area's most exciting players. It's quarterback slash everything guy, Don. Quell Green. He was our WJBF Player of the Year last year. Burke opens up the season next week with a monster matchup at the Brickyard in Thompson. Well, as for Laney, they're without their top two running back from last year in George Myers and Demarcus Nunnally, but they do have a lot of young talent to replace them this year. Their JV squad won a perfect 9-0 in 2012, so Coach Lem Lackey has some young talent to rely on this season. Laney starts the season of Butler. That's two weeks from tonight, and we'll mention that final score one more time. They did keep score. Burke beat Laney 33-33. To 26. <laughs> yes, Tom, and as we mentioned at the top of the show, Augusta Prep's game got washed out tonight. The Augusta Eagles were supposed to play their first game too, but they also had to cancel.